All I've got to say is Meta AI is back at it again. Some of the most popular AI that I cover on this channel would include stuff like image generation AI or text generation AI. Today we're looking at Meta AI's form of audio generation AI that they just released as open source, and it is super impressive. Again, open source means that the community can modify it, they can build up upon it, train their own models, lots of really awesome stuff, just like Stable Diffusion. And as far as I can tell, Meta AI is one of the only companies that releases most of their stuff as open source, and I have word that that's actually due to the fact that the researchers working there will leave and go to another company if they don't let them release it open source. So props to you researchers, if you're an AI researcher, push for open source, please. Anyways, let's take a look at this. Meta AI calls this audio craft. AI research for audio. It's a single stop code base for all of your generative audio needs, music, sound effects, and compression after training on raw audio signals. And I just love it. I love this big button right here that says go to code. If you click on that, it takes you right over to GitHub where you can see the AudioCraft version 1.0 release with training code. And this is essentially a PyTorch library for deep learning research on audio generation. It contains inference and training code for two state-of-the-art AI generative models producing high-quality audio and music. And of course, they have instructions on how to install it. They have the different models here. Music Gen being the one that generates music, Audio Gen generating sound effects, and Codec is a high fidelity neural audio codec, and this is a decoder that is compatible with that encodec. And they actually have documentation for the training code and uh, API documentation. Pretty awesome though, I love the open source release, I love the attention to the community that uh, they are giving here, making sure that we all have access to this amazing technology. Anyways, this consists of a single autoregressive language model that operates over streams of compressed discrete music representation, or tokens, and they're introducing a very simple approach to leverage the internal structure of the parallel streams of tokens and show that with a single model and elegant token interweaving pattern, their approach efficiently models audio sequences simultaneously capturing the long-term dependencies in the audio and allowing us to generate high-quality audio. What a mouthful, huh? So essentially, what's basically going on here is that they've developed this clever neural engine the encodec token decoder. It takes the raw audio waves and then transforms them into tokens that the autoregressive language model understands. And this gives them a very good idea of what that audio is truly composed of. And then when they actually generate audio, they use the decoder, which helps preserve that original quality. I mean, that's a pretty rudimentary explanation of it, uh, but I'm no large language model or AI researcher. I'm just a, a fan of the technology. Anyways, let's focus on audio generation first. It's focused on text to sound generation, and it has learned to produce audio from environmental sounds. Here's an example here, text input, sirens, and humming engine approach and pass. AudioGen understands what that means, and then it produces a sound output. Let's take a listen to some samples. AudioGen is trained for the task of text to sound. Give it a prompt. It generates five seconds of audio adhering to the provided text. So first off, we've got whistling with wind blowing, assumingly in the background. This is a 1B sized model. I love how consistent the whistling is, and it's definitely wind blowing in the background. It just kind of sounds like it was recorded outside on a horrible microphone, but nonetheless, it's very accurate to the small text description. So now we got that example, sirens in humming engine approach and pass. Definitely a humming engine in there, and it sounds like the sirens were there at first, and then they pass, and the humming engine comes second. It does kind of sound like a Grand Theft Auto police chase, though. That's exactly what that sounds like. A duck quacking as birds chirp and a pigeon cooing. I don't know if I really hear birds chirping. I can definitely hear the pigeon and the duck, though. It sounds like someone's hungry stomach with a, a duck in the background just quacking. Either way, mighty impressive. We don't have many text to sound effects generations out just yet. All right, railroad crossing signal followed by a train passing and a blowing horn. We all know what that is supposed to sound like.
Okay, we got a hint of the uh, railroad crossing there, and we definitely got the train passing and the blowing horn comes first. Decent stuff, decent stuff. I'm pretty impressed with that. Typing on a typewriter, that's pretty simple. Yeah, it's about exactly what I was expecting. Good. All right, I am fairly impressed with this so far. Again, there's not that many AI sound effect generators out. I think this is the only second one that I even know of that exists. And this seems to be about the quality that I would expect. But hopefully we get huge advancements with this because it is, in fact, open source. Let's take a listen to the text to music generation now with Music Gen. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be more interested in this. A grand orchestral arrangement with thunderous percussion, epic brass fanfares, and soaring strings creating a cinematic atmosphere fit for a heroic battle. Very, very descriptive here. Wow. Very coherent. Yeah, across the 30 seconds there, that was very consistent. It made a song that sounds normal and doesn't really screw up. And in the first seconds there, that sounded like almost perfect for like a, a few seconds there. I mean, you could tell it was AI generated a little bit in there. I'm sure a lot of you music you know, people are, are going to be like, that sounds like crap. This is horrible. Listen, to the average person... You know, the music is very subjective, but to me, that sounds pretty good. You could definitely tell it's AI generated in there, but man, that is that is good. We've come so far with this AI stuff in such a short amount of time. Classic reggae track with an electronic guitar solo. Very relaxing. I'm a fan. There we go. I don't know if I would call that a guitar solo there. I'm not so sure that was a full guitar solo, but pretty impressive. You could hear all the instruments in there, and it was consistent with the reggae. Drum and bass beat with intense percussions. This is very intense. That was awesome. That was really good. That's like something you would hear on a Cartoon Network show like Adventure Time almost when they're like fighting or whatever, like running away. That was awesome. That was really good. A really funky beat. It was pretty consistent overall. I, I like that's almost listenable in my ears, at least. It's so close to being like spot on there, man. That was probably one of the more impressive results. A dynamic blend of hip hop and orchestral elements with sweeping strings and brass, evoking the vibrant energy of the city. Ooh. Yeah, you can hear it. That is insane. <laughs> My god. That was really good, viewers. You can't tell me that, that you know, that didn't impress you to some degree. Like, come on. That was amazing. That was amazing. The dynamic blend of the hip-hop and orchestral elements. That is not something you hear every day, and the AI just did it pretty well. Like, I, you know, I know I'm sure you can make it on, like, Fruit Loops or whatever, and I, there's a lot of people that are very, very keen with their ears when it comes to music, but that was really impressive considering it's AI-generated, and this research is only, like, a year or two in the making. 
Like, I am so impressed by this. The vibrant energy of the city could be felt in that. I could feel the soul. I, that's, that's something I hear a lot from people when I make these videos, like, oh, that AI has no soul. What do you mean, man? It's, it's doing some creative work here. It, it, it generates creative things. Human creativity comes from us, you know, listening and experiencing things, and the AI is listening and experiencing things. Anyways, violins and synths that inspire awe at the finiteness of life in the universe. Wow, all right, deep there. I think for that one, the violin and the synths got a little bit too mixed up there. I like the clarity of the audio, but I, I didn't feel the finiteness of life in the universe in that. And I, I don't know. I don't think the violin and the synths mixed up too well. 80s electronic track with melodic synthesizers, catchy beat, and groovy bass. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Tell me that couldn't be in, like, a, a mobile game background or something. One of those infinite scrollers. Come on. That was pretty good. The 80s electronic track, the melodic synthesizers, catchy beat. I loved it. Very solid work, AI. Music gen is so impressive. I love it. Smooth jazz with a saxophone solo, piano chords, and a snare full drums. Wow, it's funky. The quality of these AI music generators is definitely increasing. Like, that was clear. That was very much clear. Like, that's, that's a lot better than the technology we first had when we were listening to music in our own homes as as a human race and that was very groovy jazz i like i liked it. it it took some creative risks there and i think it paid off a little bit all right rock with saturated guitars a heavy bass line and crazy drum break in fills all right that was definitely heavy crazy rock Pretty impressive. Melody guided music generation. They give it a melody and they give it a prompt and then it gives us an output essentially. So this is the melody they gave it. Classic. And the prompt was 90s rock song with electric guitar and heavy drums. That completely changes the way that sounds. Oh. Some singing in there? That sounded awesome though. I love it. So this is 80s pop song, heavy drums. Same same exact melody. I think I might have actually heard these before, to be honest, when Music Gen first released. Because like today they're just announcing Audio Gen. Music Gen did happen before. Listen to this, viewers. So in the f original, you know, music gen demo, they, they featured that same stuff. So we have heard this before. We have heard this before. It's still so impressive. I think we've got a few more examples today, though. Wow, the energetic hip hop piece is good. 90s rock song. This is a different melody, though. This is... Oh, okay, I see. 
All right, let's listen to the 80s pop song version. Those don't slap as hard as the original ones, in my uh, personal opinion. This is another... Omitted the lyrics entirely. If you provide it with a melody, it's definitely a, a lot clearer and more accurate. It's amazing. Ooh, the, the hip hop goes crazy. Man, that's good. I love it. They've also got some long generation examples like a lo fi, slow BPM electro chill. Very good. This is usable. Two minutes, that's almost a full song. I will, viewers, link this down below if you want to listen to the whole entire tracks. They're pretty dang good. Yes, definitely heroic battle. Absolutely. Wow, man, this stuff is crazy. Music gen is better than audio gen, but both are here for us. Like, you don't even have to really worry about it. They're on GitHub. Come on, viewers, go start creating with this. I want to see what we can get up to. This is amazing. Doesn't look too difficult to install as well. Training code is available for Encodec, Music Gen, and Multi-Band Diffusion. The models are stored on Hugging Face. I love the fact that Meta AI is releasing open source stuff. I think that more companies should do that, and it does seem to be the researchers at Meta AI who are pushing for these open source releases. I mean, the researchers are really the reason that Meta is dominating so hard as a technology company in the AI space so far. It's really impressive what they're doing. Yeah, go test these out. You know, if, if you have any cool generations, send them to my Discord server. We would love to see them. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.